fine. Right, next thing. Let's talk about the beta next. Normally, we don't do any beta presentations, but here we wanted to bring a lot of modifications for this beta to facilitate your experience to begin with during this one and for it to be easier for you to go and test different things within the game because we've brought about a lot of changes. So some of the enhancements that we've brought, let's call them quality of life in the beta. So there are less, um, mm, there's less friction. So there's a new zone in the beta that we've created special one that will be accessible only during the beta that will regroup nearly but everything that was spread across the world of 12 previously will be congregated in this one place either by going to the Amaknas app or the merchant places all of that to do with the beta NPCs buying things everything will be in one place for you where do I find them where is this guy so these questions we no longer want you to ask them anymore we have unified everything for you to just go and have an easy access. So at the exit of the Incarnum uh, Temple, there is an NPC that will be there that will give you a little potion that transports you here. And this consumable lets you come into this zone that you can see here in front of you. And then there will be a room for every level. Um, I don't know how you call that. like level tranches so 0 to 50 50 you get it so all the npcs that you would go and look for before now are all in one place and separated by one transition one room you go to the next one and then you find the one you are after this is the central area and we've put the npcs that sell useful things to everyone these are so we've talked earlier about dungeon testing dungeons you have a an NPC that sells runes that you just double click and sends you straight to the boss room, whatever, whichever one you want to test, so you don't spend any time watching them. There are some that sell um, pets, pets mounts, uh, dragon turkeys, and all sorts of mounts. We also have an NPC in every um, workshop, Majin workshop, that will sell you all the runes. There's in every merchant uh, spot, you will find a Kama seller. So you don't have to trade from the official to this one and things like that. You can just click, get all the Kamas you need and no need for that kind of trade anymore. And also another room where there will be portals that will take you to the big cities, let's say the big areas in the world of Twilight. And for those who are worried, this zone will be instanced. What does that mean? Just like Tempores. Yes, there's a Kama seller. <laughs> got him, Alan, got him. <laughs> and Kama has banned and Kama. <laughs> it's an NPC that you speak with and take Kamas enough so you can buy from the other NPCs. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I've lost the train of thought now. <laughs> we need this feature. Absolutely not, I won't. <laughs> so, this zone, this is a really cool thing, is instanced. What does it mean? That means um, if there's far too many people to avoid lag, uh, there will be new instances created parallel to the previous one. So you might not meet your friend if you're both in the same area because there will be parallel ones made to avoid the lag and ensure a certain capacity and fluidity of the game. Just like we've done in Temporis, that uh, zone that you get by double clicking a potion. So there are copies of the map that form in and of themselves. That's why we call it instancing. It's instances uh, that create to avoid all the problems. And yes, we have also forgot to mention... Ah, shit, I spoiled this. This was the second slide, sorry. So. Another addition is for a mage in is completely redundant. It will be only to add exos and enhance things in a way that you want. Now, every single NPC will sell you the item at a perf stat. So now you see what it looks like at the 100 to 150 tranche. They'll be there. There will be a Kama pile at the center. There'll be certificates also that you can buy. It's a consumable. How do they work? That you just consume? <laughs> that will give you the mount straight in the paddock. And the, the last point in the uh, beta will be the animations that will be in the beta. So on this very point, I want, I have three points to tell you about. The first one is, the Cosmos website will not be updated at the beta launch tomorrow, but, but there will be 
a news that will be released at the same time at the beta which will list all the bonuses with all the offerings for the almanacs for those of you that want to test that aspect of the game second point on the event the shadow event we wanted to simulate what it would be like during the beta so in this news that we will publish tomorrow while the beta is ongoing after we release it there will be a precision on the functioning of the shadow server event how it will work the times we will release it and everything that you need to know about that event and last there will be a pvm animation oh uh, maybe they mean event well it will be a big news alongside the other three ones that i've mentioned but in essence, we will reveal that there will be a an event, a PVM event, that will not start on day one. It will not be released immediately on the beta, but it will be the day after. So the idea behind this is the first day of the beta, the server is not perfectly stable. We have bugs, we'll try to correct as soon as possible. And normally, when we do an event on the beta from day one, well, we realize that there are problems and the players have tested things and they didn't work. That's the goal of the beta, but the big problems are usually spotted early on. So what we've decided is to give some leeway on day one to fix those big things. So when we release the event, you can focus on that and have more fun. So with essentially the event will not be ruined for you or for us. So we will wait a few days before we release it. And of course, here again, there will be another news that will specify the working of this event. And as, as I told you, it's a PVM event that was very much requested because I've, up until this point, we've only ever had, had PvP ones. There were so many PvP events in the past, as we've mentioned with Papino, but we've never had any PVM thing, and that was one of the most requested things. And I think that was a complete random thing to do with um, some uh, updates that we did relating to PvP. So that's why we had PvP event. But now... We wanted to do something completely different, and we are getting some PVM events. Completely, you're absolutely right. That's it. That's all for the better. Oh, I've seen some questions fly. Oh, there will be some trans runes, AP, MP, and range. There will be some new trans runes, and I have to specify that it's just for the better. <laughs> you're not getting this in the official server, as much as some of you want that. Thank you very much for this important precision. And to finish, we will talk about balancing. Let's talk about balancing. 